When gas was still a luxury, people in Pakistan boiled water using this. The process begins with thin steel sheets cut into three equal parts. The craftsman punches decorative holes into the surface to improve airflow, then folds the edges to create joining seams and bends the metal using a machine. Once the edges align, they are joined together and repeatedly hammered to form a solid kettle body. Next, the body is passed through a rolling machine to create circular ribs around it. These ribs serve as decoration while also increasing strength and reducing deformation when heated. The craftsman then cuts the steel into two round pieces, hammers the center inward, and carefully adjusts them to fit the body. Another steel sheet is cut, its edges folded, bent, and joined to form the air conducting tube. After the two parts are connected, holes are punched in the center to allow hot air to pass through, and the tube is placed inside the kettle. After that, two small iron pieces are bent and attached to the body as handles. The lid is made from a round steel sheet, with a hole cut in the center and shaped into a curve. A bent steel piece forms the chimney, which is fitted with a round base and welded to the lid. Finally, all joints are sealed by welding, a water spout is attached to the body, and the base is made in a similar way. The result is a simple yet durable kettle that has supported daily life for generations.